guys, it's uh, in the NAV543 for today's daily tutorial, and um, this one is going to be a two-part tutorial because it's very long. It's about 20 minutes long. It's going to probably will be. It's about uh, this rocket dock. Um, it's going to, I already showed you how to get rocket dock. Um, now I'm going to show you how to change its settings. Like, for example, when you get it, it looks really boring, and I changed it to a bass guitar because I pers I like bass. I play it. That's my favorite instrument in rock band and guitar hero and stuff. Alright, so to get it, you go and open your internet. To get all these different things, like all internet things look like this. And you might want to change that to like Yahoo and YouTube and stuff. So I'm going to show you how to change your icon settings around. So first, go to anything, any internet thing you want. Um, I will get Mozilla Firefox probably today, maybe not, if not tomorrow or sometime next week. Alright, so you click up here and you go to rocketdock.com slash add-ons. I'll put that link. Everything I talk about in the description, I'll have the link to either download it or get to it. Now, this may come up. It's totally normal. It happens most of the time when you just type in the direct thing. So you just click get add-ons right up here. Now, it'll the front page will show you the latest add-ons. These are all icons. Um, so you click on to get an icon. You click on the icon section. Load, 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 load. All right. So here we are. Oh, see, they were all were all icon. So um, what you can do here is you can either click and go through all 1,023 pages, or you can just search it in here. Let's do YouTube. All right, so when you get here, you see these are the, here's the one I have. Right there, see? All right, so let's go to page three because this is the where, the page that has th probably the best one of them all. Nope, or that's on page two. Yep, I was wrong, page two. Um, you don't have to choose this one, but I just like it because it's very neat and it's very clean and very cool. Click on this. I'll put the link for this in the description. You click download file once it loads. You have to wait for this ad to go on, or else if you click it and it doesn't come up, you're most likely going to click it again, and then your whole computer will freeze up, and you'll have to restart the whole thing. And you don't want that. Definitely not. Especially if you just installed Rocket Dock. So you click Save. Suggest where you want to save it to. I'm saving it to the Rocket Dock folder. Now you open up your Rocket Dock folder. I should put a link for that in Rocket Dock. So. In my case, I saved it to my program files, so you this may not apply to you depending on where you save yours to, but I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can save it to. I don't think it lets you save it anywhere else. Like, you can't save it to my documents or anything like that. Alright, here we are. Now, here's your little folder. Click there. Click Extract All. Next. Next. Finish. And now you'll have this right here. Don't close it out. Find the icons. Double click. And now just drag it in there. I already have it in there because I already did this. This is my second try making this tutorial. The first try my microphone wasn't on. That was a big embarrassment. Okay. Um, keep this up. You're going to need it again. Now, when you get on um, Rocket Dock, you get a very boring background. I have now I have a fender base. Um to change that you have to go to the the skins section of the downloads. The latest skins are on the front page. So now to download a skin you click on it. AF5. I like that band. Wait for it to load again. All right, now you click download file. Save it again. 
save. Bring this back up. And um, by the way, you can delete, once you've extracted the glass icon, you can delete this, the folder. So we'll go extract all, next, next, finish. Voila, there we are. Now, don't open the folder up. See? Delete. Yes. You can keep this folder here. You can X out of this, as a matter of fact. But we're not going to. Now, you take a, you find your little, move this up here. Alright, and now you find skins, which is right here. Click this and you drag it into skins. And there you have it. It's going to be one of your choices as skins now. I believe, yes. AFI. Ah bad thing. Copy. And you know what? Let's cut it out. Cut. Now you can delete this. Go paste. Dang. Oh well, but don't just now don't delete that. That was a bad thing I did. But anyway, once you have your little doc, your I can save, you go right here. Right click, doc settings, style, scroll down and you can choose your paint, yours, which was AF, AFI. Um, now there's also different ones like there's Flame, oh no, Flame I downloaded. These are downloaded ones. These Cyber Fragments, the Elite one, the, the base and the Flame. I'll put the links to all of them in the description so you can find them easily. Keyword, easily. It took me about an hour to find most of these, so I'm going to waste another hour of my time for you guys. You can also select the font, the shadow color, and the outline color. Okay. I'm going to go back to the base because I think it's cool. And, um, you can play around with the settings if you want. And, uh, so, um, good luck. And, uh, this is the first part of the tutorial. I will be making another one very soon and it will probably be up about an hour after this one is up or less